In this video, we will review how to assign elements to component collectors via two different methods in Altair HyperMesh 2025. Let's start with the Organize method. We will first begin by naming our component collectors as 2D Mesh for our 2D elements and 3D Mesh for our 3D elements. The purpose of having two different collectors is to easily edit our seed and volume meshes if we need to come back later and edit them accordingly. We will first generate our 2D mesh, and after we do that, we see on the 2D component collector there are now stored elements. We will then generate our 3D mesh. However, after we generate our mesh, all the 3D elements are grouped into the 2D collector, which is not ideal. To move the 3D elements, we can use the Organize command. We do this by right-clicking on the 3D elements and selecting Organize. With the Organize command prompt open, we then select the destination component as the 3D mesh component collector and then hit the green check mark. After doing this, we see that we have successfully moved the 3D elements to the proper component collector. Our next method for making sure elements are assigned to the appropriate collector is by utilizing the component collector selection during the actual meshing process. If we go to the TEP mesh and then select Advanced Options, we will see the option to select the mesh destination after completion of the mesh. In this case, we will select Current Collector since the 3D Mesh Component Collector is the one that's listed as current. After generating the mesh, we will see that the 3D elements were automatically put into the 3D Load Collector and we did not have to use the Organize command. Our last thing we can do is we can quickly color code our elements for us to understand when one element mesh is active versus the other. I hope this video has illustrated to you how easy it is to organize element meshes in Altair HyperMesh. To learn more about HyperMesh or other Altair products, go to www.trueinsight.io.